Hi guys. So today let us continue with the issue of patriotism. Max Millen uh, says that um, I thought a coup was one of the most unpatriotic acts anyone could commit against this country. It's more like the enemy of the state. How does such a person have the audacity to tell law-abiding citizens that they are not patriotic and punish them by death if held to be unpatriotic? So we really need to continue discussing about the issue of the patriotic bill. It's not that we don't want to be patriotic. It's not that we are not patriotic. We are actually patriotic as Zimbabweans. Why? Everybody who is fighting corruption is patriotic. Everybody who is fighting injustice is patriotic. Anybody who is fighting looting of state resources or mineral resources is patriotic. Anybody who is demanding accountability and justice in the nation of Zimbabwe is patriotic. But we have seen some people bringing a new definition of patriotism. We have seen some people uh, making laws just to put critics behind bars. That's not it. The main objective of laws is not to, to punish people, but to control people, to make people governable. So this law does not make people governable because we have gone back to the Rhodesia era where the people of Zimbabwe were not allowed to speak freely, where the people of Zimbabwe were not allowed to express themselves, where the people of Zimbabwe were limited to go to some areas to do some activities. Right now, as Zimbabweans, we are now limited. We are now being controlled like animals just because somebody wants power more than anything else. Do you know that it's easy to deal with the people of Zimbabwe? Just deliver services. Just be equal. You see that the people of Zimbabwe are peaceful. The people of Zimbabwe, they don't complain too much. We work so hard. All we are just demanding is that uh, let us have rewards of our hard work. Let us have a functional economy which is going to benefit everybody, not an economy which only benefits politicians. These are the issues we are raising. Let us have equal education opportunities, especially between the rural areas and the urban areas. That is our demand. I am a rural dweller. My demand is to have a school close to me, built a school close to me with internet, a school close to me with electricity, with water, with good housing for teachers, with textbook, with resources, with my, 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 my desks, whatever. Those are the issues we are demanding. We are demanding to have clean water, clean potable water close to us. Those are the issues we are demanding. So for you to tell us that you are not patriotic just because we are against injustice just because we are against uh, all these shenanigans you've been doing. That is wrong. So, you see that um, the same people who have been committing crimes are the same people who are making laws. And they're saying that these laws are to protect Zimbabwe. What kind of Zimbabwe are you protecting? Did you get to power through constitutional means? No. You removed Mugabe through unconstitutional means. The 2018 election cannot sanitize the November 2017 coup. It was a coup. No matter how much you disagree with us, it was a coup. How did you get into power? Who elected you in the first place for you to be a president from 2017? Those are the issues, the real issues. When you speak about these issues, we need answers, not arrests. So you will see that um, uh, in Zimbabwe, who really need to have a government which cares about the people, a government which cares about service delivery, not about buying vehicles, not about their own luxuries, not about buying houses. So this is the reason why we are supposed to vote for China, vote for Nelson Chamisa, and make sure that everybody else speaks during this election. And Zimbabwe also said they are shameless, so pretentious, but how do... Uh, we compare one to be patriotic when you or she has tolerated your brutality for nearly 50 years. Isn't that itself patriotic? Okay. Um, and the HIV cans are COVID-19 is better than ZANPF. Okay. And the, I don't even think it falls under unpatriotic. Cool. It's a terror act. Okay. And the critical unique. The number zero over. It just can't Okay. So, if you... 
speak against the healthcare decay, against the mass murder of people with cancer, you'll be told that you are unpatriotic. But is that true? No. Let us have a government which is going to prioritize the people, care for the people, and develop Zimbabwe for all.